LeBron once again has proven that he is the most clutch NBA player ever. Ever. Yes. Michael Jordan was great. Kevin Durant is great. Kobe Bryant was great when it came to being clutch at the highest level. But there's just too much disrespect going around about LeBron. He not only makes the right play, but a lot of times that right play is him driving to the basketball hoop and hitting the game-winning shot or hitting a three-pointer or hitting his teammate who's wide open, trusting that they're going to make the shot. LeBron, make no mistake, is in my mind the greatest athlete of all time. I believe that you could plug him into pretty much any sport and he would he would thrive. He'd figure it out. I think in basketball, like, you know, it's because it's not just an individual sport, it's a you know, it's a team sport. You know, you have to rely on your teammates at certain points in time. And I know a lot of people talk about how Jordan being 6-0 in the finals, which you can never take any of that stuff away from him. But, you know, what about the rest of those 15 years that he was in the league? What happened those years? Did he make it? Was he 15-0? Was he only 6-0 in the finals? Did he make it to the finals? Like, you know, outside of those times? No. He was clutch. Won't take that away from him at all. I think that maybe if we saw more of Jordan, like he never went to baseball, never took two breaks, never was, you know, was kind of had his heart in a multitude of different places, maybe, just maybe, I would have said it's undisputed. He's there, There's no doubt that Jordan's the greatest ever. But I just feel that we got robbed of that because he left the sport twice. And he comes back when he plays for the Wizards and is a total shell of himself. Comes back the first time and, man, goes on a tear once again. But I, I just think that LeBron is... People are... We, we've gotten so used to these last 20 years of greatness... He's been in the NBA Finals half of his career. Half of his career. Can Jordan say that? Nope. There's one guy who can even, you know, can really stand up to that. And that's Bill Russell. Who won the most rings. He was awesome. But no one really regards him as the GOAT. I'm not really trying to make a case for GOAT, but I'm trying to make a case for the most clutch player ever because I just believe that when it comes down to it, LeBron's going to make the right play, and we have 20 years of seeing this. Half of his career, he's lived in the finals. Yeah, he's only won four. I say only. He's, He's made it so that nobody else was able to eat during that period of time. You know, eight straight finals. You know, all these teams that are right on the cusp of making it to the finals. LeBron says no. He says no again. You know, the Celtics team that's currently there, they have a lead on LeBron's uh, Cavs. LeBron's basically by himself carrying that team. Makes it to the NBA Finals. You know, comes back on on the uh, the Celtics. What an awesome series. That was so, so sick to watch that. I just think that we've got to appreciate the greatness that we're watching. Like, I I believe that not just in basketball, not just LeBron, but, like, we're living in the greatest era ever of sports. Like, some of the greatest players ever. Whatever you think about LeBron and Tom Brady and Tiger Woods and Roger Federer and, you know, all the, like, all these different players that are playing, that are just recently retiring, we are living in the greatest era ever of sports. A lot of sports are like starting to transcend. A lot of them are evolving as time goes. You know, Steph Curry's helped make the NBA evolve with the three-point shot. I mean, it's just the evolution of sports is 
unreal. And I'm so excited to see where this thing goes in the future. But LeBron, in my mind, guys, is the one guy in all the sports you don't want to bet against. Because if you bet against that guy, well, he lives in the finals. So, I mean, maybe you can bet against him when he's in the finals, but you don't want to bet that he's going to lose in any round besides that. We'll see what happens this year. But I, I would say to never bet against that guy. Because in the biggest moments, that guy, he'll bring it home. Let me know what you guys think.